Jeff Monk action again. Um, today, as I'm sitting outside uh, on my patio, soaking up some rays, listening to some tunes, I'm thinking, you know what? Because I was contemplating whether or not of shooting this video. I didn't want to sound... I did shill the shit out of the Pula PAO2. I certainly did, and it deserved it. Um, and I asked um, Meyer Audio for this version, which is the CKLVX D41. Now, just like the Pula PAO2. Um, now, just like the CKLVX and the SLIIVO mean diddly squat in terms of acronyms that's just what it means anyway moving on hold on for a second some lights behind me are doing this freak show and it's freaking me out tell you the truth there we go all right now so i reached out to meyer audio um, because there was some very valid rumors and a friend of mine, Tony, uh, Textera, Arcos, as you know him, um, pretty much confirmed that these are the same as the Pula PAO2. They have exactly the same shell. They have the same exact venting. The shell shape is bang on, nozzle, nozzle length, nozzle angle all that happy jazz so i'm gonna run with that as well here's the graph of this set and the pao2 and they are slightly different though i do have a trouble hearing uh the difference between the two now in this video um I wanted to talk about some things that maybe I didn't talk about in the Pula PAO2 uh, video. So this IM comes in uh, around the same price or less as the Pula PAO2 when it goes on sale. It uses the Juz Ear Limpid. Uh, SPC cable, which also leads me to believe that uh, maybe these are made in the same factory as Juz Ears as well, which are also fabulously tuned. Um, and I wanted to go over some of these things again that maybe I missed in the first one and give you an impression of what I think of these now after, I'm going to say fresh ears because honeymoon phase is long over. Um... But still much love and can't always say that um and now i'm gonna put on a little bit more subjective hat as well critique hat uh and since i shot the pula video i also picked up a new dap which was the astel and kern con max and it's a very very resolving dac uh dap and I picked up an EPZ TP50. And it's kind of interesting, I thought it was anyway, on how much sources play such a significant part in your what you hear, uh, honestly. So, and again, when you're... And I typically go in my videos and I talk about sources that I used so you get a good idea as well, right? Um of my impressions and uh, how I colored it or how I got there in the journey. So uh, I will say that the D41s really, really like a very resolving source. So, and you don't have to go super 1600 for a DAP to do that, the dongles. So I like ESS uh, dongles, the TP30, but the TP50 from EPZ uh, was absolutely standout. I love that little dongle just because, and you can kind of manipulate the 
uh, audio profiles and it's the one of the like I said in my video of that one it was one of the first dongle or DAP I've ever had that I could hear an audible difference changing the filter so if you're thinking about picking one of these up uh, and all you have is a warm source you're gonna get a very warm uh, playback put it on a more resolving source and you will be treated that's for sure in the where's my critical listening hat hold on actually this is the hat i had outside because it was sunny but so critical listening hat okay uh bass um i really love this elevated fat bass that comes from this i am it's it's sort of sub boosted uh tuning um it, though it does kind of flatten out around 250 hertz, uh, so it's not too much leakage or bloatage into the mid bass. Um, though I, in my preferences, prefer a faster bass, I also love the kind of biocellulose sounding drivers that um this uses and it's and it's a very organic it's a very natural sounding bass for me it's like old school 12 inch three-way speaker kind of playback right uh not the fastest um but it has a, a fat tubbiness that uh, is hard not to like um it, it uh, the note weight like on cellos piano guitar all full bodied and natural so mm, I, I liked it quite a lot I, I do love this bass I love I do love bass <laughs> I admit it I got a problem um, but uh, it's not overly boosted this tuning is wonderful uh, it really is. Uh, they've done a phenomenal job of an under $200 OnePlus 4 IM with this kind of shell and this uh, nice cable case tips. It's really hard to bitch about anything about this set. It really is. Um, I'll get to that. Mids, upon first listen again, this is an interesting point I wish you to take home. Hold on, I'm starting to sweat. Um, when a lot of times, most of the chai fi or IMs that come on the market really do have um, a, a pin again boosted mids and it's, it's aggressive. And on first listen to those, it's hard not to get wowed because it really is. There's a lot of information there and vocals come out and they pop out at you uh, and it's only when you put your critical listening hat on that you go well okay maybe those are a bit mid forward or maybe those are a little bit too aggressive and that's how this kind of set oppositely comes across because if you're used to that and then you put this set in you, your first reaction, or again, every every time I put these things in, I, I get that um, sense that the mids are slightly recessed, uh, and you can you can realize that that changes actually very quickly as you're listening to this more and more. Then fact that maybe this is the correct playback, um, and the mids shouldn't be that freaking boosted right uh i overall i find the mids on this uh i am very balanced uh sure with that bass shelf you listen to some tracks that are bass heavy and the vocals do get a bit washed out but that's in the mix that's not the tunings um well yes it is a bit in the tuning's fault of this i am where you put in that much bass <laughs> i was gonna say it's not the tuning of this i am but that's not true at all in fact there is a, a bunch more bass this is a colored i am in such a, i think a truly good way uh and that's kind of what gravitates me to this tuning so much um i mean i think the overall tonality and the timber of vocals and instruments 
on the D41, just like the PAO2, could be better. Honestly, could be better. No doubt. Absolutely. When I listen to uh, my plungies uh, with the uh, Sonian BAs and you go, yeah, that's how it should sound. But it's really hard to bitch about that at under $200. That's kind of my point. Um, you know, the Sonians are no doubt absolutely better. They're smoother. You're not going to find that in a $200 IM. Uh, same as the highs. The highs are, again, I have absolutely zero complaints. Seriously, the D41 has extension, has details, instruments come across, violins, uh, they all sound very good. Vocals, female, male vocals, again, you know, not pitch perfect, but damn good. Um, there is no denying in this and the PO to the value equation, and I think that is the biggest takeaway for this uh, I am. Um, I mean, a lot of criticism when this criticism when this I am uh, came out and started getting some play, and then people were like, "Oh, you know, it's you know, there's better." Yeah, there is tons of stuff better out there than this I am, but not at this price, right? Uh, this is an extremely solid choice. Um, for somebody getting into the IM world and they want to step up into something that is mid-fi, right? That they had a single DA, a single DD, or maybe um, uh, an audio sense all BA or something like that, and they wanted to get something more rounded and more of a taste of what you could get as you step up. And again, not breaking the bank at $200 uh, dollars or less. I think this is a very good step in that direction. And it gives you a very good taste of some organic bass and some nice natural mids and a non-boosted kind of uh, balanced tuning. And I think that's quite nice. Um, where the Pula PAO2 and the, the CKL VX... Uh, D41 kind of falls down a little bit and that really has to do in its kind of 3D stage and its ability to project uh, instrument placements and micro details and all those nuances. Yes, it doesn't do that to a higher standard, a higher level. It doesn't uh, doesn't play that and and Fair enough, again, I'm not going harsh on that, even uh, though um, I admit that it has weaknesses. But again, uh, I'm just taking into the equation of the value equation, right? I mean, um, I have a lot of IMs that are more detail-oriented, more 3D, more you know, uh, it, it, presentation of the headspace. Um, this, the D41, if you pick it up, you can get, you can expect to get something that you can play pretty much all genres and it'll do very good job. If you're a vocal lover, I don't think you're going to have issues with its playback. Bass, again, uh, I don't think you'll have an issue. Even bass heads will appreciate what this single 10 millimeter dynamic can do in this IM. Um, lovers of the old school KZ in your face, massive pin again, massive bass boost, huge super Vs, you're the guy who's gonna you're the person who needs this to balance uh, your rest of your collection out that's what you need um and as an all-rounder as a uh at a set that you can pick up and and for me there's not i have about seven sets i think in two of my cases that for me 
I can pick up instantly and enjoy whatever my my music player is playing or Spotify or whatever. Uh, then there's I have the few that are good for certain things and not good for other things. And then I have some more that are really, really, you know, specific for certain genres. And I don't th I think the D41 is one of those IMs that uh, you can pick up instantly and, and, and enjoy it. Uh, takes your brain a little bit to again to readjust back to the non-forward mids, uh, but once your brain does kind of uh, melt into that, you kind of you kind of you feel it. You feel its groove, uh, and when you're in the zone, um, you're enjoying music, and that's the most beautiful thing about uh, anything. Your gear you're buying, right? I mean, um, if it can transport you to a place and music is creating emotion for you then it's done its job um, and I think the CKL VX uh, D41s do a great job at a great price doing it so that's my quickie on this bad boy and I want to say thank you to Meyer Audio for providing this one for me um, so in conclusion after me speaking for 15 minutes, um, what do I think of the CKL VX D41 from Meyer Audio? I think it's a hell of an awesome value. I think it's an absolute great IEM with it. Fantastic tuning, great bass, smooth mids, nice highs, nice extension. It has some weak points, but damn, it is fantastic value. Four and I am, you know, one plus four. I'm still in love after all this time. 